and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about cottonmouth snakes. Be sure to subscribe for more amazing content. For more information on cottonmouth snakes, check out the link below in the description. Discover the largest cottonmouth snake ever recorded. If you've ever spent time in the swamps or rivers of the southeastern United States, then chances are good that you've seen a cottonmouth snake. They're known as dangerous pests that can sometimes infest waterways and even fall into passing canoes. Bites are deadly, but just how big are the largest cottonmouth snakes ever recorded? Here, we'll learn about cottonmouths and how to identify them in the wild. Then, we'll go over just how big they get and discuss the largest ever reliably measured cottonmouth. We'll learn more about other names for cottonmouths, then compare them to the similar copperhead snake. Finally, we'll go over the steps you should take if a cottonmouth bites you. What do cottonmouth snakes look like? Cottonmouths live throughout the hot, humid areas of the southeastern United States. They're a water-loving snake, almost always seen either in or near sources of fresh water. Like rattlesnakes, they have wide, leaf-shaped heads designed to accommodate their large venom glands. But perhaps their most distinct feature is actually the inside of their mouths. Cottonmouths get their name from the cottony white interior of their mouth, which they open and display when threatened. Cottonmouths start life with distinct bands of tan and light brown, gradually growing duller in color as they age. By the time they reach adulthood, cottonmouths have turned a medium brown, with some markings visible along their sides, but they're usually seen on the ground hunting for rodents, reptiles, or amphibians, or draped on branches overhanging sources of water. How big can cottonmouths get? Cottonmouths typically grow to a maximum length of four feet, but larger specimens are by no means unheard of. Reports of monstrous cottonmouth snakes are common, but reliably measured giant cottonmouths are much rarer. Adults have relatively heavy bodies and may appear larger when swimming due to the fact that most of their body rests above the water as they swim. Cottonmouths are fairly light for their size, most weigh less than three pounds, but for those few snakes that grow to gigantic proportions, over five feet, their weight may exceed five pounds. Some have been reported to weigh almost 10 pounds, though this may be exaggerated. Certainly, the largest cottonmouth snakes ever recorded weigh much more than their more average-sized brethren. The largest cottonmouth snake ever reliably recorded. In the wild, the largest cottonmouth snakes ever recorded measure in at between 60 to 74 inches. 60 inches is massive for a cottonmouth, though not unheard of for the largest specimens. A 1990 review of snakes included the largest cottonmouth snake ever reliably measured. This specimen was reputedly captured on the Virginia-North Carolina border in an area known as the Dismal Swamp. According to the 1990 review, it measured 74 inches long, making it the longest cottonmouth snake ever recorded. Other cottonmouth specimens have been estimated at 8 to 9 feet long, although these reports are unverified and likely exaggerated. For a cottonmouth, 5 feet is huge, and 6 feet is almost unheard of. Rest assured, no matter the size of the cottonmouth, a bite can still send you to the hospital. But are cottonmouths the only venomous snake you need to worry about when exploring the waters of the southeastern United States? Are water moccasins the same thing as cottonmouths? You may have heard not only of cottonmouths, but of water moccasins too. Don't worry, they're actually the same species. Cottonmouths are sometimes called water moccasins, black moccasins, or swamp moccasins because of their semi-aquatic nature. People often confuse them with other types of snakes, like non-venomous water snakes or venomous copperheads. No matter what you call them, cottonmouths are not a snake to take lightly. They aggressively defend themselves and their perceived territory, particularly from humans. When threatened, they coil into a tight ball, with their head raised in the center, and display the cottony interior of their mouth. They follow up this threat display with one or several bites if the intruder happens to get too close. Which is worse, cottonmouth or copperhead? 
Cottonmouths and copperheads live in many of the same places. They're often mistaken for one another. Both species prefer forested areas, though cottonmouths are more reliant on water than are copperheads. The largest cottonmouth snake ever recorded makes copperheads look tiny in comparison. The largest copperheads grow to around 3.5 feet long, with the largest on record measuring 53 inches, or 4 feet 5 inches. While both species are venomous, only one has a bite that requires immediate hospitalization. Cottonmouth snake venom is significantly more potent than copperhead venom. Copperhead snakes are shy, but their excellent camouflage often brings them into contact with humans. While copperheads bite more people than any other venomous snake in the United States, and venomation is rarely life-threatening, the mortality rate of copperhead snake bites stands at just 0.01%. Cottonmouth snakes, on the other hand, are more aggressive, but come into contact less with people. In 2017, there were 255 envenomation incidents with cottonmouths. 242 were treated by healthcare professionals, and 10 patients had severe symptoms. However, none died. It's important to remember that cottonmouth bites can be quite harmful, and you should seek medical attention if bitten. You might also be interested in comparing the cottonmouth to the rattlesnake and learning about the largest rattlesnake ever recorded. What to do if a cottonmouth bites you? If you sustain a bite from a cottonmouth snake, the most important thing to do is get away from the snake. Do not attempt to capture it or kill it, as this is more likely to result in additional bites than do any good. When it comes to mitigating the effects of venom, the faster you get anti-venom, the better. Remember, it doesn't matter if the snake that bit you is one of the largest cottonmouth snakes ever recorded or just a baby cottonmouth. The venom can still kill you if left untreated. If bitten, remain calm and call 911. Keep the bitten area below the level of your heart. This will slow the spread of the venom. Remove any jewelry or clothing near the bite as the area swells up. These things could cause tissue damage due to constriction. You don't need to ice the area or try to suck out the venom. Just keep the bite clean and dry and get to a hospital for anti-venom. Thanks for watching this video on cottonmouth snakes. If you want to give your opinion, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.